What's up everybody? Kawi Katana. Man, today uh, it's Sunday um, and I'm heading to go pick up a bike that's in Columbus, Georgia, which is about, I'd say almost like an hour away from me. But um, I wanted to make this video because I feel like I've been very good at finding deals and and finding bikes and things like that and I kind of want to make a video to kind of give you an, a little bit deeper explanation on how to buy a bike or like what you should do you know when you look at a bike and things like that so I'm going to go through the process of filming uh, what I do to buy a bike so I hope that you uh, learn something from this and um, Let's go. Let's see what um so we get. Yeah, as I was saying, yeah, I'm going to go buy a bike right now. Um, I'm not going to tell you the price of the bike until I get there, to just kind of keep a little suspense. But now that the riding season as they say is going to be ending there's going to be a big flood of bikes on the market right now you're going to have you're going to have three type of sellers this winter or you know or out of the bike se riding season the first type of seller is going to be the seller who is selling their bike because they are ready to upgrade they're ready to get a bigger bike. Say they've had a, a, you know, a 250 or 300 and they want to now go to 600 or 1,000. So they're putting their bikes on the market right now to sell so they can be able to get that money and either buy another bike or put that money to the side and save it and then go get the bike they want to get. The second type of seller you're going to have is you're gonna have the, the seller that's like saying, you know, uh, winter time is here, uh, I need extra money, uh, I really don't ride that much, so, you know, what's the point of me keeping a bike, so I just wanna go ahead and sell it. You know, they wanna sell for Christmas money, or, or they wanna buy something else, or they, their passion or hobbies have switched over to something different, and they need the money to support that hobby so they sell their bikes so that's another type of salesman uh people who sell their bikes now and the third type of salesperson this person that's selling their bike is the person that is selling their bike to get another bike out and i would say not like an upgrade i mean i guess you would say an upgrade but someone who already has a bike and who's selling their bike because they either want to get a much much better bike because there's a difference between the two the first one as I mentioned earlier is the people who are selling their bikes because they were ready to move up to a bigger bike you know they had a like I said 300 but the, the third type of seller person selling their bike is someone who already has like a 600 or 1000 they were selling their bike for a better bike or a better looking bike as I would say you know someone who already has a decent bike but they're like you know what i want to go and get the gx 1000 that has chrome rims and stretch or whatever it is that they want to look for instead of them doing the upgrades to their bike they really just sell their bike and buy a bike that's already have the upgrades that they like already on there so that's the three different type of sellers that you're going to run into or people selling their bikes you're going to run into now the thing is this you have to understand, like, it's, 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 it's a small window. It's a real, real small window. And, like, right now would not be the time to buy a bike. I mean, you yes, you can, and I would probably say you could. But to get the lowest price for the bike that you really want to get, you should wait right before, like, tax read, tax time, and after Christmas because right now you know bikes are are going low in prices but people are saving their money up for Christmas and things like that so they're not really 
you know, out there really to get rid of their bike right now because right now they're just focused on Christmas and presents and their kids and family, things like that. Now, after Christmas, that's when you should start looking to buy a bike because that's when the people have Christmas done over with, they don't have any money because they got these credit card bills now or they don't have the money because they spent all their money for Christmas. So you are a better chance to make a deal on a bike after Christmas but before taxes because that's them if you try to buy it after taxes that's when the prices of the bikes will start going up because people know oh man you know tax money coming in people got the extra money they're gonna spend extra so you have to if there's a thin thin window of opportunity that you have to buy a bike and I would say like right after Christmas before tax tax refunds come back is the best time to buy a bike now it is still a good time to buy a bike now if you have the money for it and you have to understand that they're still going to be a little bit higher but you can really negotiate and talk people down and that's the whole thing you have to have that skill of negotiating and I'm gonna tell you what things I do when I buy a bike first thing I do is it depends on the price of the bike. If I'm paying like four or five hundred dollars, I can pretty much have enough, enough bike knowledge to know what to look for to see if it's a good, decent bike. Um, but if I'm gonna bike that's a little bit more, like you know, a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars, I always bring me a, a bike mechanic or a bike expert, someone who can look at that bike, tear it apart, look through it, look through everything, and. You know and be able to give me a good you know advice on how much the bike is really worth because at the end of the day you know you have to realize you're putting in a, you're buying an investment you want to make sure that you get the most money for your investment and bringing somebody who knows more about bikes than you do is uh, is better because it with them they can point out things to help you negotiate a lower price you know you don't want to walk up there and be like hey yeah I like your bike blah 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 and then they're like okay I want for this much and like well what about this and they really don't you know like well you have to fix it I want this much but if you have an experienced person who knows what to look for in a bike they be able to say some things that even probably the seller doesn't know what's wrong and you could be able to use that as negotiating to get the bike lowered as far as price wise because it's going to make the seller say okay you know what yeah it's missing this i will take down you know a little bit of the money because you have to replace that you know so that's one of the things that is a good key for you when buying a bike another thing about buying a bike is you have to understand you know that at any time it could be a limit and or it could be you know they could lie to you i know it's crazy i you know i, I hate to say that but people who sometimes sell other people's bikes will lie to you take for instance i just a few like last week i bought this 1983 honda goldwing uh um, no interstate it was an old bike, but only had 51,000 miles and it had a clean title, which is two good things about that bike. Now, bad thing about it is it was all rusted out, but it ran, it just needed, the carbs needed to be clean. And what he told me was, when I went and bought the bike was, oh, the bike hasn't been running over three months. No, so, when I went and changed the oil, into the gas tank, man, nasty, 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 nasty. I wish I had the fuel filter to show you. It was just nasty. So I knew when I bought the bike, because I bought the bike for only $320. Now, I knew that if I wanted to get it running, I could, you know, make more selling it because the whole part of me buying was to sell it but i looked at it and was like you know what i only paid 320 dollars for it i'll just see if someone will buy it off my hands because i don't want to put the money in 
I didn't want to put the money into it that I know I, at the end of the day I will lose because yes, it's an older bike and it is kind of in rough shape. But if I would have got the carbs clean and got everything fixed on it, it would it wouldn't it would have costed me more than I could have sold it for, theoretically. But if I would have fixed it and kept it until the springtime, April or March, I would have got my money back plus made a little profit. But that. I, I didn't want to wait that long and I didn't want to sit in my garage. So I always, always, the number one rule in ever buying anything, buy car, anything, is if it ever doesn't work out that you could be able to sell that bike or that car or whatever you have and get your money back or even make a profit. So the only thing I did to that bike is I put a new starter in, which was like 60 bucks. And I put, I changed the oil and spark plugs. I bought it for three hundred twenty dollars. I may have put in like probably a hundred, maybe one hundred ten dollars as far as parts. And I just sold it yesterday for seven hundred dollars. So I made a pretty good, decent profit off of that, you know. But I could have made more if I'd have kept it and, and and maybe got it running and waited about two three months. But you know, sometimes things not worth it so so it wasn't worth it so now you know I kind of if I'm gonna buy a bike now I'm gonna make sure I keep it it's gonna be decent enough for me to make money later on or if I put it up now that I can make my money but right now I'm going like I said I'm heading down to go pick up this bike. Um, it's a really good deal. Um, there may be little issues as far as like, you know, fairing, like the front, like right side needs to be fixed, which is nothing. But for what I bought it for, it, it will definitely be worth it. But I'm gonna take y'all with me and I'm gonna show you how I do it. And just to also make this video for the people who wanna ride motorcycles, People who um, have a passion to want to ride, but they they can't, you know, they can't get a bike, or they, you know, or, or they can't afford a bike. I'm gonna tell you this now. If you cannot find a bike to buy, there is something wrong with you. I've bought many bikes on the low and been good, decent bikes, and. I don't do nothing that nobody else can. Look, what I'm doing now, you can do. There's no reason why you can. There's no reason why you cannot buy a bike. There's no reason. Only reason why you can't buy a bike is because it's not that important to you. You know, because I've learned one thing: if something is important to you, then you will find a way to get it done. But if you're sitting there saying, "Oh, I can't find a bike. Oh, I can't afford a bike," but yet you can go for it video games or you can go for uh you know stupid crap you know that you know guns or you can afford shoes your priorities is in a different area that means that you rather spend money on that but then complain that you can't afford a bike when you can't it's just it's not that important to you so I don't even hear people and they're like oh I can't afford a bike yeah and then you go get the new brand new pair of Jordans you know, and I'm not saying like, and I think also people have a misconception that, oh, I can't afford a bike because they want to start off on a 600. They want to start off on the new new. They want to start off on this nice, grand, luscious bike. You know what? If you want to wait and, you know, and, and buy a bike like that, then you're going to be waiting for years. I mean, I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather buy a crappy bike and ride, be on those two wheels out in them streets, getting it in. I'd rather do that than sit and watch everybody else ride for you know all summer long and I'm sitting here still saying to myself, I'm gonna give me a bike, I'm gonna give me a bike, I'm just waiting on the deal, waiting on the bike. Man, forget that. Get you a bike. I don't care what it looks like, get out on them to ride, find, get that love, that passion, and then eventually you can get the other bike. And then another thing too is when you get a bike. Say it's your first bike, or say it's the bike you're learning on, or whatever, or it's a bike that you know you're not gonna keep, 
don't do no upgrades. Don't go out there and buy a 250, 300 and then put a full exhaust on it and then put a paint job on it and then put, you know, this and that on there. Because at the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you this, you can put all that stuff on there, but then when you go resell it, you're gonna lose your butt off because people are not gonna pay for those upgrades. They're just gonna pay for the value of the bike. And all the stuff you did to it, wasted your time and no one's gonna buy it. Or they might buy it and you might get a little bit extra off of it, but it's not gonna be what you put into it. So if it's just a training bike or bike you're just learning how to ride or it's a bike that you know you're gonna keep, keep it as stock as you can. I know it sounds stupid, but people will pay more for a bike that's stock than they will go pay for a bike that's already been modified. I'm telling you, I've seen it. I've seen people lose their butts and lose a lot of money doing that. So yeah, just, just, just keep it in mind that you need to learn. Don't do nothing with that bike. I know you see all these other people have these bikes. You see they're doing this, they're doing that. It looks good and all this, that, and the other. But I'm telling you, don't do it. Just keep it stock. I'm going to say like KISS. Like they say keep it simple, stupid. Keep it stock, stupid. So with that, guys, I am going to pick my friend up and then... We're gonna head on out and uh, get this bike, and the second part of this will continue. All right, peace out. Uh, yeah, this is the bike. Bought it for two hundred dollars. Yes, it needs a little work, but it will be fine. So yeah. No one can tell me that no one can buy a motorcycle. If I could buy this for $200, you could do it too.